All right, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This is our Space Center. Just started a new game. Some custom rules here. Just a few things. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade. And I should have done that because I don't have any money to launch a ship now. Awesome. Can't afford to launch it. Nice. New. Just launch. Don't save. Crud. That's lovely. Um. <laughs> That's one way to start the game. Let's see if I fire this pilot. Do I get any money? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, I know what I can do. What I should have done to begin with. They give you a little bit of upfront money. Go ahead and accept all four of these because they're all very feasible and fairly easy to accomplish. <coughs> so, all we're going to do there. We're going to set two goo canisters here. And then a third on the back side. Give us a parachute and adjust pressure. I like going 0.1 and 2500. And we don't have any other fuel tanks, so we go with the solid fuel booster. Aerodynamics 4. That's it. Call this one Grasshopper. Save it and launch. <clears throat> For the sake of ease, grasshoppers do not leave the atmosphere. And if they do, it's going to be weird. Alright, start with our science. Do a crew report. Nice. Observe one of our mystery goos. Very nice. Do an EVA. Very nice. Go ahead and take this data. And take this data and go ahead and store it all. Board again. And launch. We want to head east. That's a problem. I always forget to do that. <clears throat> Lesson learned. Let's fix the staging now. Now, let's do our science. And our UV report. Collect data. Take data. Store data. And board. Toggle SAS and engage. Heading east. Ideally, what we want is to head out over the ocean. Which it looks like we're going to very easily make that. Should reach periapsis here, um, apoapsis here shortly. I'm hoping to get above that light blue marker there, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Nope. Alright, observe mystery goo. Good science, good science. I'll do a crew report here too. Now I can only do two crew reports until I unlock further scientific research. <clears throat> oh, launch parachutes at 3500. And they should fully deploy right about now. 
There we go. Go ahead and speed up time so we're not sitting here waiting for an eternity. custom game I up the science way super high uh, just because it takes forever to get science eventually once I get good at this game I'll uh, I'll do a, like a difficult mode or something but this is easier than easy although some of the other stuff on that would be said differently on easy I made it more difficult maybe it'll make up for it we'll see All right. Observe our final mystery goo canister. Do my last EVA. Board and recover. All right. So that gave us quite a bit there. Also, wow, that gave us a lot of money. Okay. Um. I want basic science before anything. And then we'll move from there into rocketry. And then advanced rocketry. I uh, use fuel systems. Give us some stability control. Aviation is good. Still got a lot left. Landing. Aerodynamics. Let's do aerodynamics. Go ahead and upgrade there. I don't have enough to upgrade there. So, go ahead and create a new leaf actually because I want to look at my available missions now. Alright, so we still got Escape the Atmosphere and Orbit Curve, and they're still open. Um, haul it into flight. Haul it into flight, test it splash down, and test at the launch site. I still got room for one more, so we'll take this other test MK16 over Kerbin. <clears throat> Alright, so. Right now, let's just focus on. science. So we've got all the mystery goo that we want. Yeah, we got decouplers now. So we're going to go ahead and attach that decoupler here. I don't want to do that. I need to set this one though. And once I unlock these, I like to start including these on my ships. Set them a little higher. Just uh, try and slow the descent a little more. Now, science. Let's just try an old snap on You know what? I don't know that I've ever tried it before, so let's give it a shot. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to work. I 
We do want to put the Science Junior here, though. And did I unlock? Yes, I did. Look at that. I have heat shields. Big thing is, I want to be able to, can, ooh, wow, that's a huge fan. I want to be able to control this a little bit when we re-enter. Make sure we can still open the doors. We can. Hopefully that'll help us slow down a little bit as we re-enter. Now, um, our goals are to haul the hammer into flight. That's really high up for the hammer. Um, I'm not going to do either of these this one. The swivel engine. We can do that. We do need to test that though. So here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead We can probably do that one as well. That being said though I do want another goo containment unit, not two, just one, because we're going to go up pretty high here. <clears throat> now let's look at some liquid fuel. I'm absolutely crazy to try this this early, but we're going to do it. Um, so right now we don't have any thrust to weight ratio. We are going to give it the swivel engine just to see. Which, hey, we're good. It doesn't weigh that much, so actually I want to include a payload with some science. A barometer and a thermometer. I'm gonna put one of these on here because I'm not sure. What exactly they're supposed to do. But ideally, that's what we're after there. <clears throat> Thrust weight ratio is still good. Uh, we don't need any electrical or communications because we're bringing it all back. Don't need any ground equipment. We do want to include some more fins, though. And that's going to be enough to get us where we want to be. I hate showing the Okay. This is Grasshopper 2. The second vessel in the Grasshopper line. Apparently I can't spell the word vessel. Let's launch it. Goo canister may slightly unbalance it, but we shall see. Ah, oh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to do a couple things, actually. Let's go back. There we go. That's what I was hoping that was going to do for me. But revert to vehicle assembly. Prime, um, you know what? Let's do that. Not sure how to do this. This is going to be fun. Uh, log pressure data. Log temperature. That's how you do this. Crew report. And observe materials bay. <clears throat> so now when I hit the number one, it's going to do all of that.
which is awesome. Now come back to building. I don't have those, so I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, but we'll try. Anyway, the last thing I want to do is fire Jeb and hire Bob. Now, save it. Uh, staging is correct. Launch. <clears throat> now, if I'm not mistaken, the thrust to weight ratio is at 100% burn. So, uh, I forgot to add that. Oh well. So if I hit the number one, keep it, keep it. So the crew report did me no good, but we're going to go ahead and hop out on an EVA. We're going to collect data, remove it, and then we're going to restore. That's why we went with Bob instead of the other guy. Didn't think I could reach it from here, so... Board. Alright, so Bob is not a pilot, so he cannot actually pilot the uh, the vessel. So SAS doesn't work. So here's what we do. We set the fuel to 100, press C. Fire it up. Fuel burns much, much, much less in a in liquid fuel it's it's much more efficient all right so here's the reason go ahead and kill it that's fair Yeah, overwrite the existing crew report. Excellent. Now what? I'm okay with this. So go ahead and deploy shoot. And deploy shoot. I think between the three of these parachutes, that should be enough to get us up and stable. Oh, wow. I think it's going everywhere. Deploy shoot. <clears throat> All right, we're still twenty six hundred up. So, yeah, we are good. This will let us actually test that swivel engine in the splashdown as well, which is why. Essentially, we did that because it's got to be splashed down. I did forget to do that, though. <clears throat> All right, time to impact. 18 and a half seconds. This is the fun part where we just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and send him out on an EBA. Do his little EBA here, which we didn't do before. Climb down here, collect data, remove it, restore. 
observe the materials bay. Oh, let's slow down time because that's aggravating. Open up here. Take data, log temperature, keep it. Take data, log pressure, keep it. Close that up. Can't run the test without him in there. So let's get him back up there. I think I can get up there somehow. Okay, the purpose of the splashdown was to run that test. So. test <clears throat> get paid and recover okay see I mean we're crazy good on science right now uh, let's see here flight control yes I want that um, Definitely want that. I can't research those yet. I haven't upgraded. Let's go ahead and get all the basic research done first. That's extremely useful. What does advanced construction give me? Oh, yeah, that's useful too. Alright, so that being said, um, at this stage, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade that. What's that? Astronaut.com. Oh, it's only 75,000. Upgrade it. Nothing else that I'm going to take. So, we'll go back in here. Did we unlock any new science? We did not. Okay. So, give us a new spacecraft. We want a new command module. And then we want the flea. Is that the one that we're testing? Yes, the flea. I'm going to go ahead and empty it of fuel. Which is fine. Because <laughs> all we're going to do is go grasshopper 3. It's not going to fly. Save and launch. Run test. And that's all we were after. Something was added, but it's still nothing that I'm interested in. So, um, let's see. Astronaut complex has been upgraded. I'm not upgrading again, though. Now, my next goal. We're going to start our new line of rockets. We're going to call this the Albatross. going to focus on the basics first, escaping the atmosphere and orbiting curve and the rest of the stuff, meh. So let's start with our basic command module. Give it the MK-16.
And you know what I'm going to do just to make it easy on myself later? I'm going to enable advanced mode. Go to sub assemblies. And trash these categories, yeah. These are from a previous game, so <clears throat> we'll add a new sub assembly called Command Modules. and no description is necessary so we'll just put it right there I don't know why this pops up sometimes <clears throat> now then turn simple mode back on now Let's go ahead and include the Science Junior here. We can open the doors fine, that's not even an issue. We'll go ahead and decouple. Now here's the fun part. Um, we do what's called asparagus staging. Okay, so basically, we've got our one center stack that we're gonna go with uh, after we give it a payload. We're going into orbit this time, so I'm going to include two goo canisters. Science. Going to include a thermometer and a barometer. Close that. I actually keep it open because I'm about to assign some action groups here again. Go ahead and do that now. All right, so that's that. Close. I almost forgot. I want to put a radi or a, a heat shield on there, and just for the sake of reentry and hoping to keep it stable, we we'll give it two basic fins as well. <clears throat> now, as I was saying before, asparagus staging. Basically, this is going to be a very similar lot rocket to the ones that we have already built. Now, the asparagus part comes in here. Um, first off, just to give it good control when we're in space, we're going to give it the swivel engine. And we'll move it up a little bit too. Yeah, we're good there. Uh, let's move this compact. There we go, that's better. Coupling. Since we're going to test these anyway, we want to go ahead and put these on. That's pretty close. Yeah, good, good, good. Um, we'll go ahead and fill them out. These get the Reliant engine because of the thrust power that it provides. So you see, we're still not good enough here. Siri wanted to talk for a second. Um, go ahead and put on a nose cone. And then, here's what we're going to do we're going to grab these, move them to the side. 
So instead of all of these being staged together, the swivel engine's going to fire at the same time too. Good, good, good. All right, so that brings our stage five up to 1.35 thrust weight ratio. So we're good there. It's going to launch us. But with the asparagus staging, what I was talking about, <clears throat> did I actually unlock? Yeah, I've even got struts. So the reason I went for fuel efficiency and everything is for this right here, <clears throat> the external fuel duct. If you look here, it stages all of these separately. The last one, it's going to decouple it here. What we're going to do is we're going to run a fuel line from point A to point B. Fuel flows from A to B, and it didn't attach. There we go. It did that time. Next one to detach is going to be here. And then the last one, and you see the symmetry is on. Uh, and we'll go ahead and run structure. And basically... It, it's just going to be, simply put, ah, crud. Ah, whatever. They're good there. We'll structure them down here. Basically, what happens is, um, when we first launch, all of our boosters are going to be firing. Um, and let's move it up just a little bit more. When we first launch, all of our boosters are going to be firing simultaneously. That's what's going to give us this 1.34 thrust to weight ratio. Now, when we go into our next stage, it's going to decouple this first set of boosters here, right here. <clears throat> when it does so, basically it just refills all of our other fuel tanks. So all of our fuel tanks are draining simultaneously, but these, these three and these three are going to be draining faster than the others because they're draining into the other ones to fill them up as they're being drained as well. Um, this is just so that when uh, when we launch, we have maximum thrust. Fuel seems to last a little longer as well. Um, it's a very, very interesting, very interesting thing here. I like it. Let's give it some control. We do have our winglets now, which I love. These things are super useful. You know what? I think that should be fine. Am I forgetting anything? I'm going to keep Jebediah on this one. Yes, I am forgetting, aren't I? Do it this way, and then we're going to attach some mobility struts to the back. Basically, so that I can get down to that and collect the data and not have to worry about, oh crap, I uh, jettisoned all of my science. <clears throat> now all the science that's in here is resettable except for the goo canisters without a scientist. Alright, Albatross 1. The first vessel in our albatross line. Albatross. This one actually probably shouldn't be an albatross. This one should be like a... Oh, I don't even know which... Uh, albatross is good. We'll, we'll go with that. Albatross would be orbital vessels. And let's launch. Oh no, I just saw what happened. Symmetry was still turned on, and it just obstructed the front of 
Let's see if it'll do it. Open the doors. Oh, it'll still open the doors. Okay. Close doors. All right. Turn on SAS. All the way up. And ready, set, go. <clears throat> oh, man, I forgot about that. I didn't include the uh, data recorder. So you see down here, all of our engines are starting to drain, but these two are draining slightly faster than the others, which is good. It's what we're looking for. I want to try and keep it as straight up as possible until we get over, say, 30,000. 30, Which I'm not super concerned with. With exactly straight, but I don't want it to, you know, start going, you know, 10, 20 degrees or anything like that. Alright, about ready to stage. Whoa, what happened? What in the world happened? They quit burning, so stage. <clears throat> That's weird. I've done this dozens of times and it's never done that before. Alright, let's start tilting now. Okay, so our Apple Oasis is way up high. Let's stop for a minute. Let's try and stop the roll, too. We're going to incline. And fire away. What is this? Comnet path? I don't know what that is. Oh, I guess it's where I'm communicating still. I don't know. Alright, so we have escaped the atmosphere. We actually almost want to incline down because we don't want our Apple Oasis to get super high. You know what? Let's go to Apple Oasis, shall we? And then we'll burn toward prograded Apple Oasis. Uh, how far? We're still a minute away. hard. Drink up me hearties, Joe Ho. So we've actually passed Apple Oasis now. But I'm cool with that. We shouldn't have a problem getting into orbit from here. See Apple Oasis is moving further and further away from us. We just ran out of fuel, so let's jettison those. And the orbit's getting bigger and bigger. Well, the tra trajectory is getting bigger and bigger. You'll see another node will show up here in just a second. The PE, or periaps node. <clears throat> and then, ideally, we want the two Apoasis and Periasis. Periasis, Periasis, whatever to swap places. 
Yeah, so we did burn a little light. I think we're still going to make it, though. Yeah, see, there it is. Once they get to about 70,000, we're in orbit. There we go. And you have our prograde and retrograde vectors now. We still have plenty of fuel left. So, let's do our science. Do an EVA. EVA report. Collect data, remove it. Apparently I can't reach that one. All right. Turn SAS back on, face retrograde. Basically, to make our orbit bigger, we face prograde, which is like along the orbital path. And to make our orbit smaller, or to land, we face retrograde, which is opposed to the orbital path. <coughs> and let's pick where we're going to go at. Usually you want to try and go near Apoasis, because it requires the least amount of fuel. And it's going to put us pretty close to the Kerbal Space Center, so we should be able to recover the funds, too. Which, with the rules that I gave, it shouldn't be an issue, either. Yeah, let's do it. So we'll warp here. how inclined our orbit was. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and start burning. I'm not even worried about it. Really and truly, not worried at all. Delete that node. Let's <clears throat> work down to, there we go, 70 thou, that's a good one. that see we're traveling really super fast so let's go ahead and fire it up that'll give us some control keep us facing retrograde if it gets too terribly out of control then it's really simple we just jettison Whoa. <laughs> there goes that. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're good. And 
shoots. We are golden. Look at that. We're no longer flying high. I don't know that we've done a crew report from. Let's do it at less than a thousand meters. How about that? So those two goo canister, that one goo canister rather, um, we weren't able to recover the data from it, which no big deal, whatever. something I haven't tried yet. I don't think it's going to let me, though. We'll do an EVA report. And if I try and board with it... Oh, it let me. Nice. Usually, if there's an EVA report already stored, it's not going to let you, but... There we go. And recover. <laughs> <laughs> 